<laughs> so this is a heated nursery. Um, these are all of our flower starts. And then back there is where we do all of our microgreens, which is like our main um, like business to oh, restaurants okay. and stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. microgreens and edible flowers. So um, yeah, cool. this is heated. It's on it's all so winter. It's so nice and warm in here. Yeah. <laughs> when did you guys get started farming? Um, This is our seventh season. So, oh, wow. Yeah, 2015 was our first year. Yeah, but we didn't always grow flowers. We're about four years in okay. for like doing cuts and stuff. Cool. Yeah. And um, have you always been on this land? Yep. Um, we lease here. We have a really good situation. Um, we've been here for almost eight years. Wow. We'll be here for at least like two or three more until we can um, buy our own land or buy this land. It's kind of up in the air, but okay. we're good being here now. It's like a really good situation. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Cool. So what kind of things do you have going in here? Um, we've got, so this is, this is all either edible stuff or used for um, dried cuts. Okay. So there's like fennel, bronze fennel here, nasturtium, gumfrina. Oh, they um, look so good. Zinnias, marigolds, big giant marigolds. Yeah, those look amazing. Um, these are dahlias we're doing from seed this year. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got um, like florets mixed dahlia seed. I'm excited to do that, giant dahlias. That's so neat. They look so healthy. Yeah, they really do. Um, I'm happy oh. with them. Cosmos, mm -hmm. oregano, um, rudbeckia, yeah. basket flower, and then eucalyptus, amobium, more nasturtium. There's stock down there, status. Awesome. So cool. And then in here you have, wow. Yeah, so um, <laughs> microgreen mania. Yep, these are microgreens that will be cut oh, like so pretty. tomorrow or Wednesday for delivery on Thursday. So super fresh. We work with yeah. a bunch of um, distributors all throughout Connecticut and grocery stores. Yeah, where do your shoots end up? Um, so we work with Sardili Distributor, who distributes to restaurants all over Connecticut. Uh -huh. um, Fiddleheads Co-op in New London is like our biggest um, account. We do flowers and microgreens for them. And they kind of end up all over the place. Matt's a chef, so that's how we got into oh, like wow. really growing like for, for culinary. And, uh -huh. yeah. That's amazing. And then there's some. <laughs> some extra um, space back here is like basil and some ornamental grasses and stuff. So how long your microgreens, they take? Seven days, most of them. Seven days. So this whole greenhouse turns over like every seven to 10 great days and we do about a hundred pounds out of here a week. Wow. Yeah. It's a so the whole greenhouse it's full all the time and you have like the next round yeah, germinating so right here. Yeah, so these were just seeded this morning and this will be um, next week's pea shoots. Gotcha. Yep, and they'll come out like pretty much right after this one gets harvested. Amazing. Can you see like expanding this? Oh, that we need to. Yeah, yeah, we're like, you can see we're like busting at the seams yeah, already. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to add an addition onto this in the fall so we cool. have more heated space and... Um, How do you heat this? Um, so yep, there's a big uh, protein heater there in the back of the hanging up top. Oh yeah. And we have big propane tanks mm -hmm. um, right outside, and it does a it does a good job for us. Um, it's pretty efficient. I like the box fan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a cheap way to throw up some circulation in here. And yeah, that's great. Yeah. We don't want to do too much here, just because we probably won't end up staying here permanently. So. We try to do what we can as far as like things easy that will be easy to move down the line and nothing too permanent. Yeah, because you think you might move. Right. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. How yeah. long is your lease with the land? Um, we are uh, we have two more years on the um, like lease out there, but like I said, we have a really good relationship with the owners and they really like us being here. So cool. um, yeah, it's kind of, it was just sitting, it, was, it used to be a, a dairy farm 30 years ago and it had just been sitting for decades. Like no one was using it. So we kind of came in and turned it around. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we'll take a walk out there now. Okay, cool.